All right, so this is the Aeneid, book two, lines 289 through 297, with the screencast by me, Maximus. So let's get started. Heu fuge nate dea teque his aet eripe flamis, hostis habet moros ruit alta culmine troia. So that means, um, so this is flee in the imperative, so it's O flee, goddess born, he says, and tear yourself from these flames. The enemy has the walls. Troy falls from its high peak. So then enough has been given to Priam and to the country. And that's what patriae means is uh, the country. So sat patriae priamo que datum and then si pergama dextra defendi possent which means if Pergama could be defended, so could be defended by a right hand, etiam hoc defensa fuescent, it would have been defended even by this, which is basically saying if this thing could have been defended by anyone, it would have been him. Um, so yeah. So, sacra sursque tibi commendat troiae penates. So that's Troy entrusts its sacred objects and household gods to you. Uh, hos cape fatorum comites. His moenia quire magna perato statues quae denique ponto. So seize these as comrades of fate. Seek great walls for them, which you will establish. At last, having been wandering the sea. So then, finally, these last two lines Seek aet et manibus vitas, westamque potentem, aeternumque aditis effort penetralibus ignem. So thus. He spoke, and he brought the garlands with his hands from the innermost shrine, powerful Vesta, and the eternal flame. Alright, that's all of it. I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching.